الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب التفا الله as we mentioned the beautiful words of Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab رحمه الله تعالى regarding knowledge and practicing that knowledge and being patient in and 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 giving da'wah that that is an usul and that's why we find it in his book entitled Thalatha Usul or Usul Thalatha that is a foundation that all of us as Muslims have to be conscious of and practice and that's why he said اعلم رحمك الله أن إنه يجب علينا تعلم أربع مسائل الأولى العلم. He said verily it's an obligation upon us to learn four things. The first thing is knowledge. And then he said وهو معروف الله and it is knowing Allah ومعروف النبي and knowing the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم ومعروف الدين الإسلام بيدلة and knowing the religious text with the textual evidences, meaning the proofs for different issues. If you and fiqh and tawhid. Uh, your aqidah in general, iman, to have some of the evidences memorized so that way you know. Because there's a difference between those who know and those who don't know, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, makes the uh, mentions in the Quran. Hal yastawi man ya'lam wa man la ya'lam. Does the one who, who uh, uh, knows and has understanding? Do they have, are they the same as the one who doesn't understand? Recite the ayat for me. What's the ayat? Hal yastawi? A'ma wal basir. Hal yastawi al-a'ma wal basir. La, hal yastawi? The ayat, it, it talks about the, about knowledge. Hal yastawi, hal yastawi, man ya'lamu wa man la ya'lamu no, or, or, kama, Abdurrahim, what's the ayat? Hal yastawi hu man ya'lamu bil ad. La. It's talking about, anyway, the meaning of the ayat is that are those who know like those who do not know? And showing us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given darajat to those people who have knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Huh? Hal uh, Huh? La. Wallah mustan. The ayat about wa'utu ilm darajat. Huh? No, you guys are, we're all rusty, we'll all understand. The point being is by knowing the textual proofs is, and, and knowing these evidences and practicing that which you know, this is what elevates you and brings you closer to Allah and strengthens you in Iman. And the point that I wanted to make by mentioning these, these four Masail is first, as uh, Imam Muhammad, after he mentions those four Masail, that you have to have knowledge and that you have to uh, know knowledge, uh, you have to practice that knowledge, then you give da'wah and then you're, you're patient upon that path. He mentions the evidence after that because that didn't come from him. He said, he said, with Dalil Qolahu Ta'ala, don't, don't shake the trees. He said, with Dalil Qolahu Ta'ala. والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. He said that Allah subhanahu wa taala swears by the time. والعصر. Allah swears by the time. إن الإنسان لفي خسر. Verily, mankind is in a loss. Meaning, all of mankind is in a loss. Then Allah makes istithna. He makes the exception. إلا الذين آمنوا. Except those who believe. وعملوا الصالحات and do righteous deeds. وتواصوا بالحق and they call to the حق. That's that da'wah we were talking about. And they are patient upon that path. As we see, when he mentioned those four, uh, those four points about knowledge and practicing the knowledge and making da'wah to the knowledge and being patient upon that path, all of that comes from Surah Al-Asr. So all of that evidence, all of those principles that he laid down as a foundation that every Muslim must know comes from Kitab Allah. وسنت الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. إمام شافعي رحمه الله تعالى said about that, about that ayat. He said, ولو ولو ما أنزل الله إلا هذه سورة لكفته. أو كما قال إمام شافعي. إمام شافعي he said رحمه الله تعالى. 
he said that if Allah had only revealed that surah, that would have been sufficient. Meaning sufficient for mankind because of what it it contains of knowledge, knowledge of the Quran and the Sunnah, Tawheed, the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and all of those other principles we mentioned. We ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.